The history of sport is comprised of legendary achievements. In the early 1960s, Bologna football player Enzio Pascuti established a long-standing record, a record which seemed unattainable. He scored for 10 consecutive Sundays. A great champion was needed to break it, and that champion was Batistuta, with 11 goals scored in 11 consecutive weeks. In the championship of 94-95, the Argentinian bomber is expected to return to the highest position in classifications. Even so, no one can imagine the surprise that the Viola goalmaker has in store. But he goes off from the very first day. His goals have a simple purpose. They are meant to bring points to his team. In the first three days, Fiorentina owes its good start to him. Even on bad days, like the one on which the match against Milan was held, Batistuta continues scoring. He celebrates his goals in an original and funny way, placing himself next to the corner flag in order to be immortalized. It is an ironic winner's pose, used when the possibility of drawing the match is still far away. On the fifth day, during the match with Lazio, Batistuta is showing all his desire to stand out for accomplishing an important mission. Some penalty kicks helped strengthen the positive situation. In this way, Sunday after Sunday, the whisper starts to become a strong voice. It begins to look as though there is a genuine possibility to reach a record that, to that point, had been considered unattainable. The magical event happens at Napoli during a glorious 5-2 victory for the Viola team. Batty basks in the moment, showing his emotions towards the supporters who followed him. Seven days later, on November 27, 1995, Battistuta signs his name in the Italian Championship History Book forever. The penalty against Sampdoria sets the new mark. From then on, whoever wants to be better than him has to score for more than 11 consecutive Sundays. The target has been reached, but Batistuta doesn't seem to be satisfied. He has other important aims to accomplish, the first of which is another long-standing record, the number of goals in a championship. 
The record belongs to Angelillo from Inter, who had held it since 1959 with 33 goals. A tremendous number, almost impossible to equal in today's more defensive style of football. And yet, there is the possibility that the bomber of Reconquista can break even this seemingly unassailable record. At the end, the record still stands, but Batastuta can take consolation in his 26 goals and the position of top scorer of the championship, leaving behind his old companion and friend Abel Balbo. In this way, he becomes part of the pantheon of the greatest champions who make up the history of Italian football. Everything serves the main cause, the goal. This is the credo of Batistuta, united with the generosity towards his team. Even though he is South American, Gabriel's great virtuosity enchants the Italian public. His profession is to score, and he offers an artistic performance using primarily the right foot, but always taking into consideration other solutions. Simply put, he must be seen to be believed. In the championship of 95-96, four days without a goal are enough for the critics to start talking about Batistuta's crisis. But this assessment will prove to be wrong. Gabriel soon unfreezes and his supporters, who have never doubted him, dedicate a life-size bronze statue in honor of his 100th match on the viola shirt. The celebration takes place on November 5, 1995, on the occasion of the match of Fiorentina Lazio, and Batistuta gives thanks in his own way. Honestly, I didn't expect this. I've already been living this day thinking I was going to have to celebrate the 100th match. But this surprise from my fans puts me in a difficult position because I don't only want to thank them in words, I want to do it on the soccer field. Batistuta, who was promoted to captain, is the leader of Fiorentina. This is a positive season for the Viola team. Everything seems to be working well. There is an excellent equilibrium among departments, and as usual, Gabriel represents the winning ace, the person who finalizes the game. Even Ciccio Baiano has a golden season, and the two of them realize a combined 30 goals, 19 of which belong to Batistuta.
The team of Ranieri climbs the classification steps to one position's distance from Milan, the winter champion. Forenza is again feeling its old enthusiasm and faithfully follows the team at Torino in the first away game. Batty is in great form, simply unbeatable, and Fiorentina wins the game 3-0. But even successes like this will not be enough to make the dream come true, and the championship will be won by Milan. Despite this, the Viola team still has plenty of cause for celebration. During the semi-finals against Inter, Batistuta creates his masterpiece. It has been 21 years since the last football trophy arrived in Forenza, but with a prolific player like Batistuta, the results are sure to come. Batistuta, prova dalla grande distanza, Pagliuca, presa non facile. Vigica verso Baiano, Baiano in area, va giù. Per l'intervento di Paganini, Peskin concede il calcio di rigore. 13 minuti, 24 secondi. Battistuta, Battistuta in area con il destro, la prodezza di Pagliuca. Rui Costa, destro per Battistuta, controllo con il petto, poi il numero di Battistuta. Un gol strepitoso del capitano della Fiorentina. Due minuti, 12 secondi, Fiorentina 2, Inter 1. Rui Costa, subito per Battistuta, Battistuta, solo Battistuta. Ed è un altro gol del capitano della Fiorentina. 41esimo minuto, tripletta di Batistuta. Even in the double final against At Atlanta, he is again the hero with a goal each game. The one scored in front of his supporters is simply fantastic. A magic that enchants everyone, whether friend or foe.
Matastuta becomes the idol for which Firenze is envied by the rest of the world. On August 25, 1996, Milan and Fiorentina are competing for the Super Cup of Italy. Battistuta amazes everybody with an extraordinary performance. The images of his happiness go around the world. The European route of the Viola team begins in Romania. Of course, it's him, the captain, who breaks the ice and proves their qualifications. The same happens in the successive round against the Czechs from Sparta Prague. In the quarters, there is a prestigious competition. Fiorentina flies to Lisbon to take on Benfica. The result is victory and spectacle. Even the greatest champions have no alternative but to surrender in the face of such a perfect performance.
March the 6th, 1997, in the match Barcelona-Fiorentina, Batistuta meets Ronaldo, who is not able to score. The Barcelona fans were struck dumb. For Batistuta, Batistuta, il destro! Chiude troppo l'angolo, Batistuta. Settimo minuto, prova a colpire la Fiorentina. non ci voleva Batistuta è disfidato salterà la gara di ritorno Batistuta sale serena ha recuperato a morto poi ancora la grinta di Batistuta Rui Costa Batistuta in area Puscetto il sinistro di Puscetto sull'uscita di arriva Battistuta duello con Vitor Bahia rimessa da fondo campo The season 96-97 is a largely forgettable one. The promises in the Super Cup of Italy are not maintained in the championship. The European commitment in the Cup Winners' Cup is considered responsible for the Viola team's distraction. That astute doesn't hide behind explanations, doesn't invent excuses, and doesn't blame bad luck. His characteristic honesty brings him still greater acclaim. Tutor lives in his desire to score. He doesn't waste time complaining of mistakes, nor does he need compassion for a failure. The best way to forget the past is to invent something new. This applies to Bologna, where Batistuta scores a goal combining both precision and power. With Batistuta, a goal is always all but assured.
Batistuta is a shining example on the football field. Batistuta's playing in the match in the Olympic Stadium against Roma is one of his finest artworks of the season. There is an additional incentive for him represented by the competition with his countryman Balbo, a competition won by Batistuta with a precious double goal. Argentinian bomber is the one who takes Fiorentina to the highest levels and provides important satisfactions. As time passes by, his repertoire grows richer and more expansive. There is one thing to remember. Batistuta achieved the impressive score of 12 goals in the championship. The goal scored in the match against Vicenza is proof of a perfectly styled realization that only a champion could invent. offered by his performance is worth the cost of the ticket. This is unquestionably true because Batistuta's way of playing football always means a wonderful show. It's not only about the original solutions he finds at every step, it's also his dedication to the Viola team. He is the last one to give up in a period of low flag attachment, and this is a remarkable quality. For this reason, at the end of the season, when he was considered one of those leaving the team along with the departing coach Ranieri, Batistuta answered in his well-known, honest style. I'm going through a very difficult period because it's not an easy decision to make. I feel good here. The fans love me. I know it. I can feel it. But unfortunately, there is more than this. I'm very nervous. I don't feel like doing anything. But it's not a big deal. It's just that I'm not in condition for withdrawal. I don't feel like doing anything, not even talking. Fortunately, once this difficult period passes, Batistuta receives even more affection from his supporters. Fiorentina cannot do without him, and this is obvious from the very beginning. The team is now trained by Malassani, and Batistuta shows he's completely regenerated at the beginning of the derby. His triplet of goals in the match against Udine rushes him to the goal-getter classification. Quello che è successo è successo, qualcosa si è soluzionato, qualcosa è rimasto. 
ma io quando vado in campo lascio tutto da parte e cerco di giocare. The rhythm of Batistuta is unstoppable. On the second day, in front of his supporters, he repeats the performance of Udine, five goals scored in two matches. Anyone who dares to question his capabilities would not find even one person willing to listen. Concerning his rivalry with Ronaldo, Batistuta has the satisfaction of scoring one goal and listening to the silence of the opposing stadium. During the fourth match against Empoli, Batigol scores his fourth goal in the championship. There is the suspicion that he wants to break his own record. Batistuta takes a break and once again demonstrates his true commitment to contribute to his team's success, not only with his own goals, but also by helping his teammates to score as well. The goal scored in the match against Bologna is one of those that deserves a place of honor. And there will be many others in the years to come. Good luck, Batigol!